In this video, we're gonna take a look at both the new EOS R5 and the new EOS R6 and let you know which features are the same and those features that are different so you can choose which one is right for you. The EOS R5 has captured a lot of headlines with its impressive specs, including 8K movies, but the EOS R6 really shouldn't be underestimated. If you don't absolutely need 8K movies, then the R6 offers great value and it might just be the camera for you. First things first, as we take a look at the two cameras side by side, you can see they almost look identical and picking them up, the grip and weight feels really similar too. In fact, these two cameras both use the exact same BGR10 battery grip. So at least in terms of the base of the camera, the two are identical in size. And this isn't the only similarity. In fact, these two cameras share many of the same features, such as image stabilization. These two are the first cameras from Canon with this feature. Dual pixel CMOS AF Mark II, 100% AF frame coverage with 1053 autofocus segments, eye detect AF and animal detect AF for eyes, head and whole body up to 20 frames per second continuous shooting with full autofocus and auto exposure tracking. Both cameras feature dual card slots, which is a really helpful feature. The R5 has the edge in this space because it features one of the new CF Express memory cards, which are the fastest on the market. And that speed is needed if you want to shoot 8K movies. The other card slot for the R5 is an SD card and the R6 features two SD card slots. If you're upgrading from a 5D, a 6D or the original EOS R, then it's great that both new cameras support SD cards because it makes for an easy transition. Multi-controller, AF joystick and scroll wheel. Easy and familiar navigation for people stepping up from older models. Very angle LCD screen. This is the first time a very angle LCD screen has been included in the EOS 5 series from Canon. And I love this feature, not just for finding new angles for shooting, but also packing the screen away and protecting it when it goes back into my bag. One thing to note is the LCD screen on the R5 is 2.1 million dots, which is higher resolution than the R6 at 1.62 million dots. The R5 screen is also slightly larger. 0.5 inch electronic viewfinder. Both features the same size viewfinder. However, the EVF on the R5 is a massive 5.76 megapixels resolution and it's beautiful to look through. You can really see the edge in detail versus the 3.69 megapixels EVF on the R6. Height file format, a new compressed file format with image files roughly the same size as a JPEG, but much better quality and with greater color range. Image.Canon, Canon's new cloud storage platform. You can upload all your images and up to 4K movie in full resolution, direct from the camera to the cloud via Wi-Fi and store them there free for 30 days or link directly to other storage platforms. New LPE 6NH battery. Both have a new long life LPE 6NH battery, but good news is if you're upgrading from an older Canon 5D or 6D series camera or the original EOS R, then the LPE6 and LPE6N batteries are also compatible, but this may affect the performance as they won't last quite as long. Canon Log. Great for people who need to color match to other Canon cameras in post-production. Zebra Display. Perfect to keep an eye on your exposure highlights. Finally, if you're in Australia, both cameras feature Canon Australia's five-year local warranty, which is great peace of mind. So as you can see, there's a huge amount of shared features between the R5 and the R6. But now let's run through what sets them apart from each other. 8K movie. This is one of the headline specs for the R5 and isn't available in the R6. 
So if video is really important to you and you want the latest capabilities, then the R5 is the best choice. 8K is four times the resolution of 4K. So even if you don't want to output in 8K just yet, having that extra resolution is great for flexibility, allowing you to crop into your footage and still maintain great quality or capture a 33 megapixel still image from 8K video. 4K 120p recording. Another headline spec of the R5 is the ability to record in 4K at 120 frames per second, which allows you to slow down your footage to a quarter of the speed for smooth, slow motion footage. And the R5 can do this with dual pixel CMOS AF so you won't lose autofocus. The maximum video capability of the R6 is 4K at 60p which is still a fantastic feature and matches or beats most full frame cameras out on the market right now. But the R5 really does go above and beyond when it comes to video specs. Megapixels. Both the R5 and the R6 feature full frame CMOS sensors, but the R5 offers 45 megapixel resolution where the R6 is 20 megapixel resolution. Extra megapixels gives you great flexibility to crop or to print your images larger. So if this is what you need, then the R5 has the edge once again. On the other hand, if you want to shoot a lot in low light, then less megapixels on the R6 is actually a good thing because it means each pixel is slightly larger and therefore a little better at capturing light. For this reason, the R6 has greater ISO performance than the R5. Less megapixels also makes file handling a little easier. So if you're shooting a lot of images and don't necessarily need large resolution still files, then the R6 might be the better choice for you. R5 has a larger, higher resolution LCD screen and higher resolution EVF. As mentioned earlier, the LCD screen on the R5 is slightly larger and higher in resolution than the R6. The EVF is also higher resolution at 5.76 million dots. Top LCD screen. Looking at the top of the two cameras, you can see the R5 features and LCD screen on the top panel, which is great for viewing camera settings and mode selection. On the other hand, the R6 has a more traditional mode dial layout without the screen, which means that you need to check the settings either via the viewfinder or the rear LCD screen. Five gig Wi-Fi. Both cameras feature built-in Wi-Fi to send your images to your phone via the Canon Camera Connect app or directly to the cloud via the new image.canon service. The R5 features five gigahertz Wi-Fi which offers faster data transmission and is less affected by overcrowding than the 2.4 gigahertz featured in the R6. The R5 also offers 2.4 gigahertz and is an option because if you need that extra bit of range, then 2.4 gigahertz is the better option. Some of the other features that are found in the R5 but not in the R6 include portrait relighting mode, background clarity adjust and DP RAW some great features for you to explore. So which is right for you? The EOS R5, simply the best all round camera, ideal for people who want and need the absolute latest innovation that won't hold them back and inspires them to push the boundaries of what's possible. The R5 is best suited to a hybrid shooter who are looking to do lots of video as well as stills. It is also best suited to wedding photographers as well as landscape photographers who need those extra megapixels for bigger prints and flexibility to crop. On the other hand, if you're more focused on stills and don't really need that extra resolution 8K movies or 4K 120p footage, then the R6 offers a lot of the same innovation that's built into the R5. Both cameras also use Canon's amazing new range of RF lenses, which is expanding rapidly. So no matter which camera you decide is best for you, it's a great time to be jumping into full frame mirrorless with Canon. Game on.